Oh, he's um, he was out of contract anyway. Which is handy. Just watched highlights of an exciting match here at Hayden Road. It finishes AFC Russian Diamonds 1, Banbury United 1. And the man of the match, a familiar face here on AFC RD TV, Zach Reynolds. Zach, was that a fair result, do you think, for today's game? Uh, slightly a fair result. I think we had, we had better possession in the ball. We had more chances. I think they only had one chance in open play, which Steve made a great save of. Um, but I think we're a bit guided that we've dropped points today. I think we should have, we should have edged it today. Well, uh, Banbury United came out flying. I thought the first 15, 20 minutes of the game, I was especially impressed by Casaboni and Shamsi, but uh, we were lucky they didn't score at all in the first half. Good defense by you and the other uh, back four. Yeah, something we've been working on in training, our defensive shape, um, defending from set pieces as well. Um, so it proved that we've done well today uh, in open play. And the usual question, at halftime, it's still scoreless nil-nil. Uh, what did Pixie have to say to the lads, uh, to Diamonds at halftime? 
Um, he was. He just literally just said, "Keep doing what you're doing. We're creating chances. Um, they're not really getting much of the ball. As long as we concentrate on ourselves, going down here a little bit more, uh, with a bit, bit more in our favour." So he literally just kept saying, "Doing the same thing, and it will come." And then it did come in the uh, second half in the 58th minute. Great goal by Ben Diamond. And uh, what did you make of that goal that uh, Ben made there? It was a good goal by Diamond. Uh, ball got crossed in and uh, Collard had a couple of shots. He got blocked and Diamond was just in the right place at the right time. I saw him move in as he read the ball come in and he just strikes it very well, bottom bins and then, yeah, it's a good goal. So it had to feel good. We had the lead for 20 minutes, 1-0 lead, but then darn it, uh, Banbury did come up with a goal. So, uh, Stephen Diggin uh, scores against Diamonds again like he did in the other game in November. He gets a goal in the 78th minute. He happened to be in the right place at the right time, though, uh, to tap the ball in. Yeah, it was a, it was a, we didn't really think it was a foul, but they get given sometimes. And then we know they're dangerous for set pieces because they've got some big lumps in there, which they've hit the ball across the box, and we haven't tracked our man, and he's just tapped it in. So, uh, well, we live to play another day, uh, another tough match uh, next Saturday at Rush All Olympic. I think we owe those guys one because they beat us here at Hayden Road earlier this season, 2-0. Yeah, we're very disappointed about that result. Um, we're looking to go there and get a result, definitely, get one over them. Does it help when, uh, when you play a team for a second time in the season? Uh, you know, you can uh, maybe watch uh, some film of the uh, the first encounter, and uh, that helps you uh, with your strategy in the next game? Uh, yeah, definitely, because it's a new league. There's all different teams that have come in from different leagues. Um, once you play an opposition before, you sort of know how they're going to play. But in, in this sort of league, players are changing, always getting bought or getting playing in substitutions. So they've got a big squad, so we just have to deal with it. Well, I need to wrap up this interview at the moment because it's starting to rain on us here at Hayden Road, but uh, it was a cold afternoon. Did, did the uh, the weather, the elements affect you at all in this match? It was such a cold, windy afternoon here at Hayden Road. Uh, no, it wasn't too bad. The wind started at the first half, but then it dropped off a bit. But, you know, we've got we've all got our clothing on and stuff, and I've got gloves on, so it kept me warm. So, well, congratulations again on Man of the Match. We do get a point from the, uh, from the game, and uh, good luck next match against Rushall. Cheers, thank you very much. Thank you, Bruce and Zach. I'm now here with manager Andy Peaks. Andy, um, probably a fair result, 1-1? One, one. Possibly over the 90 minutes was probably a fair result, um, but for me, disappointed to be leading with, what, 15 minutes to go. So, yeah, to drop two points is disappointing, but, yeah, we, they're a decent team. I knew that before the game. Um, and like you said, over the 90 minutes or whatever, probably a point was fair. And uh, the game seemed to go in, in phases where they had the pressure, we had pressure, and they went back to them in the first half. Yeah, I mean, they started quite well, didn't they? Quite bright. We know they've got some good players in attacking areas. So we were poor and we went there before, so we wanted to be better defensively because although we only lost one there, it could have been a lot more. Um, and I was pleased in general. I thought first half was OK. We give them a couple of opportunities by our own mistakes when we were a bit loose with the ball. But other than that, I thought we defended set piece as well. Um, yeah, and I was, I was overall quite happy. And probably as well as we played, even though we got seven points in the last nine, that's probably as well we played for two or three games. Yeah, I think we've played well in fits and starts and I've been quite happy overall with the performances and and obviously results. Um, today was obviously a bigger test. I said to the boys before, it's a, it shows us where we're at really today because these are just outside the playoffs. Um, for me, they've got a team, a squad certainly capable of being in the playoffs and probably should be. Um, so it was key for me to see exactly where we were at. And I suppose over 90 minutes you come off and say, well, actually, we're not bad if we can compete with them like we did. And in that first half, there was uh, one spell where the, one, where the referee brought it back, which is unfortunate for a free kick. But that could have uh, gone differently. For you. Yeah, I was disappointed with the referee a couple of things, that being one of them, because we're in the ascendancy um, and we're in a good opportunity. And he stopped it and he should have played advantage because he could always bring it back. He could always book the lad after the advantage. He didn't. But to be fair to me, he apologised for that afterwards. Um, but yeah, it wasn't great and I was a bit disappointed with the soft free kick for their goal as well. And it was probably a foul on Alex during the goal, but it's fine margins. And like you said, they'll probably feel they were worthy of a point over the 90 minutes. And uh, Zach got in in the first half, nearly uh, scored, and then the free kick from uh, Declan was probably the best week chance we had. Yeah, it was a great strike from Deck. Again, a little bit of you know, a bit more luck, and it comes off the bar for someone to tap in. It went back in his arms. Um, so yeah, and we had a couple of little breaks after we'd scored, where Shanks is it just wide, and Faz got in a good area and missed the target. Um, so we could have added the goals, but there wasn't a lot of opportunities either end. I don't think either keeper made many saves. And second half, we came out and, uh, as we always do, playing uh, uh, down the hill, created a chance and good goal. And then, obviously, Tom could have made it 2 now. Yeah, no, I thought the goal was a good goal. Ben took it really well. Um, yeah, and we, we, we bossed the first 20, 25 minutes of the second half, um, got a goal. Like I said, I had a couple of other opportunities. Um, had to make a change because Sam was struggling a little bit. And, yeah, we tinkered a lot 
belt a little bit with it and we never really got the same sort of momentum as we were having. But obviously they came on to us a little bit with nothing to lose, did they? 1-0. Um, and they had a little bit of pressure, which I suppose they paid off from in the end. Yeah, and I suppose uh, near the end they could have uh, snatched it. But uh, a point's a point. And uh, I keep saying to you, two defeats in 15. Uh, the consistency is still there, isn't it? Yeah, I'm delighted with the run we're on. Um, like I said, I didn't think they threatened. I thought they had a lot of the ball second half, but never really hurt us in open play whatsoever. We got a couple of good blocks in. Uh, but in general, I didn't think they hurt us. So it was disappointing to get caught with a set piece um, out of nothing, really. Um, but overall, like you said, I, you know, it feels a bit like a defeat, if I'm being honest. Whereas sometimes when you're losing and come back and nick a goal yourselves, it's like a win. Uh, today feels like a defeat in the change room because we, we thought we were good enough to hold out and win the game. And uh, just a bit of squad news. Uh, Albie um, missing today and obviously Matt wasn't here. Any uh, you can tell us about that? Yeah, Albie, uh, he rolled his ankle in training last week, so he's not fit at the moment, so that's an easy one. Uh, and Matt, to be honest, I didn't really want to make massive changes to the squad because it was good last weekend. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's where we're at. And uh, talk about next week, going to Russia Olympic. Um, they gave us a good game here, beat us 2-0. Another tough game. Yeah, really tough. They're all tough, aren't they? There's not any easy games. Even the teams at the lower end of the table still give you a tough, tough game. And we know this far, and if we're not at it, um, we don't expect a tough game. It becomes a long afternoon. Um, so, yeah, we'll train again this week. You know, Like I said, unbeaten again, still ticking away, still in a good position, and be ready for next Saturday. Cheers, mate. I don't need love.